So because you're not at the National <coughs> Assembly now, so you'll, you'll not have an opportunity to even consider the final report of the Appointments Committee. Uh, but what stood out for you? Uh, the papers have picked the wealth declaration, but what stood out for you? Well, you know, from um, uh, history and uh, what happened in the last two terms I was in the National Assembly, uh, it is very difficult for a presidential nominee, mm -hmm. uh, unless something is extremely unusual, first of all, to be disqualified by the House. And that's why in the cartoon you see that, uh, uh, although Honorable Watangula, the Speaker, is uh, chairing, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you see behind him is the President holding a paper and a list. I, I don't believe the wealth which has been declared is the real wealth. Uh, I still believe Honorable Mudabad could be slightly higher than four billion. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe uh, Duale, uh, Muturi, and uh, Mutua, and even uh, uh, the Kandara member of parliament mm -hmm. <coughs> are slightly higher than what uh, they have posted here. Most probably uh, the three gentlemen, other than the lady, are a billionaire each. I still expect the Kandara MP even to, to be much higher than what has been declared here. She's a practicing well, lawyer. Why do you think so? She's a practicing lawyer and she's a, quite a senior one and she's uh, been engaged in legal practice for many years. So I expect uh, our properties, uh, you, you know, which is held jointly together with her and her, doc and her husband who is a doctor. Mm -hmm. you, you know, at times you, you don't declare the spouse what is also in the hands of the spouse. Uh -huh. So, so I, believe, uh, I believe this is much higher than has been declared, and uh, that's why they're called millionaire hustlers. I was expecting at least one youth from somewhere, you know, a real hustler, mm. to be lifted to this level. Uh, you, there are quite many young, brilliant Kenyans, right. uh, you know, who can serve in the cabinet and make a big change of cabinet. You know, the world has gone digital. At least we should see one real hustler. In, uh, you know, in the list of people who are going to cabinet. But, but, but does, it, does it say something? Because even in previous um, vettings, I remember when Mwangi Kunjeri was being vetted some time in 2015, he said he was worth 800 million shillings that time, and Kenyans are wondering, uh, that quite some significant um, amount of wealth. But is it a pre-qualification for you to be at such a point for you to qualify for certain state jobs? Well, the, the reason um, that level of person is, um, is, 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 is put in cabinet, first of all, they helped in the campaign. It means they, they spend quite a substantial amount of money mm -hmm. towards the campaign or quite an effort. Uh, and uh, when you say Kinjuri is, is worth that amount of money, <clears throat> you, you, first of all, his residential house is more than a, a half a billion. Therefore, if the residential house is what you are declaring here alone, <laughs> and of these people, their residential houses uh, have all their billion. So it means somebody is not be, you know, somebody is not be honest. There, there is quite uh, hidden wealth, and the reason they under declare is when they so that when they get into the job and they are involved in dubious activities, you, you the, in the next declaration of wealth, you you will not be able to to take to take note of what has been stolen or what has been misappropriated. So. Uh, w this declaration forms the moment they have not said the real thing, mm -hmm. then it means that person is already fraudulent or has committed fraud or is suspected to have committed fraud. It's part of, a, you know, that world declaration. Then if it's not true, then what value does it have? If it is not true, it means you are fraudulent. It means your character is questionable. It means That's what I'm saying, because the vetting committee or the appointments committee requires them to declare their wealth. Yeah, well, it yes. is also in law that you need to declare what your worth as you're sent to a certain office. So if you're not being honest, then yeah. what value is it serving? It means then in your next year, you know, every, you know everybody in government must declare their wealth yearly. It means whatever you may have gained, uh, you know, by virtue of your office, will be covered by the under declaration you made when you are being uh, vetted. You, you see, like, for example, now, suppose now Musalia's wealth, the next one is is 8 billion. It means then your salary and all that and what you've been earning. And of course, uh, properties ascend in value. 
So, so, so we must really be truthful when it comes to wealth declaration. And that's why it begins. Mm -hmm. The form of wealth declaration is the beginning of the vetting. That's why you know whether somebody is honest or untruthful. Obviously, Mutua's hotel is of a billion shillings. And although he claims he has loans, I, I believe this hotel, the way it was built, and uh, there were a lot of questions about it. And at that time, he was in government. And the person who built this hotel is the person who, who built the, the state office the, of, of Machako's county. Well, um, Same person. Um, Senator Dan Manzo, I, I don't know the truth about that. So <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you don't go into... But that. I'm just saying uh, they should be uh, truthful. Okay, that, that's all right. 